<laughs> so you've heard me say before, yeah? I'm going to waste my time talking to me. <laughs> I wouldn't, what the fuck for? Why would I talk to a me? <laughs> Yet people think I'm talking to them personally. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm talking to who you really are. I'm talking to who you really actually are. That's who I'm always communicating with. But the person me doesn't realise that. Thinks it's talking that I'm talking to them. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm talking to your real self, your real you. That's what Bob meant when he says, I'm not talking to any mind. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm speaking to that I am that I am. Speaking to that awareness that I am. I'm speaking to that consciousness that I am. Not the me. That's why I use that analogy when you're asleep on your bed and you're having a nightmare and I go whispering in your ear, who am I trying to wake up when I'm whispering in your ear? Not the dream character in the dream. That's not who wakes up when you wake up from the nightmare. Yeah. Good pointers tonight. They're good. <laughs> mm. They're good. They're good the way they've come out. <laughs> so there's nothing to do. It's just, it's just, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to work out. There's literally just seeing what is actually taking place and you don't need thought to work that out you don't you don't need thought to work that out just seeing what's actually taking place i, I mean I, you know a thought might arise oh that's okay but thoughts like mm, okay i'm really going to try and work out what the hell's what is it that's got all that? That's rubbish. That can't work it out. That line of thought that that can't work it out. Can't. It simply can't. So just from your own direct experience, you have, have a mind and you have content of mind. You have content of mind. It's yours. You are aware of it. See what's actually really taking place. You need to see that me is nothing but a product of mind. What you actually are is something so much more magnificent. It's just that me can't experience this magnificence. It can't. Yeah. Yet me has claimed it. It's mine. It's my awareness. It's me that's looking at thoughts. It's me that's aware of thoughts. <laughs> it's just aware of thoughts. Mm. It's not me that's aware of thoughts. It's only the mind that is saying it's me that's aware of thought. What you are is that awareness because the mind can't experience it. And just, yeah, it's me that's aware of thought because it can't experience this Awareness, it gives no value to it. None. It doesn't. Can't experience it. Doesn't get, you can, clearly it doesn't give any value to it because it doesn't matter what you say to it, say to the mind, yeah, it still keeps looking for it. <laughs> it still keeps trying to find it. And teachers will say, it's right here. It's, it's right here, right now. It's, it's here. Mind can't experience it. So it thinks it's missing something. It hasn't understood something. It's, I need to learn a little bit. I just need to understand a bit. Older. And it makes up this big bullshit story. That that you're looking for is already here. That that you're looking for, you already are. Yeah. But it's a little bit deceptive because it's mind that's looking. The seeker is the mind. Not Donna, not Malcolm, not Betty, not Terry. The seeker is the mind. <laughs> and, and, and it can never find what it's seeking ever. No matter how long. It, try, it can never find it. 
because it can't experience it. It washes straight over it all the time. This presence, this, this here-ness, mind goes backwards and forwards over it all the time. It can't experience it. It can't. It can't experience it. Yet, in your direct experience, when I bring you right back there and we try to get you to drop that mind, in your direct experience, it is being experienced. And in the pure absence of mind, oh my God, does it get experienced. <laughs> when the mind's no longer going, eh, eh. <laughs> it just, you know, it does. <laughs> There's no value in there. There's no value in here. It's all here. It's all here. So what you were saying, Malcolm, was beautiful. Um, just, just, just rest into it. Just rest into it. Yeah. And no dialogue is fantastic. And you've got to trust the silence of it. Yeah. Because it's only the mind that won't trust. You know, come back, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. The, the, the more you can reside there and just kind of, I want to say kind of relax back into it. I don't know why I'm doing that, but the more you can do that, yeah, the, the more that flower opens. And it might, it might go like this, that it'll, it might go, yeah. And then, and then, in a moment, like you, you know, but by the time it's here, you, you, there's no going back. But that's that's kind of when they say um, your head's in the tiger's mouth. You're fucked, right? <laughs> the tiger's biting you. Yeah. But by the time it gets about here, then all of a sudden it just goes. Pah. It does, because the, the the illusion is seen so 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 absolutely clearly, then it just goes ah and opens, yeah. But you know, in, in the beginning, it's kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, there's times when I just feel, oh, it's amazing and I, that's great. That's the stirring. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the waking, that's the stir. That's the part where you're coming to realize, not on the mind level, but on, an, on, an, on the awakening them, you start to come to realize that you are dreaming. When you know it's all a dream, you very quickly awaken from it. Yeah. When you don't know it's a dream and you're that, that fucking character in that dream, there's no waking from it. You know, it seems like there's a whole lot of suffering, yucky stuff going on in there, and there's not. And only it's dreamed, it's not actually. Reality check, nothing going on. God, yeah. that mind, yeah. that mind, what it does, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just keep checking in on it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking thing. It's a fucking thing, it is. <laughs> yeah. But then when you wake up, it's like, fuck, it doesn't matter. Now it doesn't matter. Like, all the stuff that concerned us, that we carry all our old things that, you know, that we think is important and it's amazing. It just all drops off. <laughs> the only thing that's important is here. Because this is where the, the life and the, the livingness and the love and the wonder and the, is occurring. Like compare this, your direct experience of this, yeah, to what it's like to live in your dream when your body's asleep on the bed. Where would you rather live? Given that you're here and you can compare this, right? This right here now to what you experience when you're in a dream asleep on your bed. The more you're here, yeah? The more absurd it is to want to live in the dream. Is it like, of course, no, I'd rather just be awake. I want to live there. <laughs> so it's just a stirring, it just stirs, it stirs. And, and I think that the good one for you, Donna, and possibly Deb, is um, 
when you catch it, celebrate. Mm. Like, yes. Ah. Ah. There it is. Yeah. Ah. It's like, yeah. Okay. You know. Just the same as a full stop, isn't it? Because you do just stop when seeing that. Kind of. It stops. Kind of. Celebrate. Mm. Be warm to the fact that, ah, oh, you've seen. Ah, mm. oh, like be loving. Let love arise in that. Ah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. And I'm glad you, you sort of gave that little flower analogy because sometimes it feels like this and then it, then it feels like this. And yeah. so, and then you have the tendency to think, oh, it's happening, yeah. you know, like. No, Again, no. it's just a thought, I know. But yeah, that's all. That's all. It's, it's kind of a thing sometimes and then it doesn't feel so clear and mm. so, yeah. yeah. Which is normal. Yeah. People ring me up and they go, oh, man, Jesus, you know, I'm just sick of kind of swinging in and out of this. Sometimes I feel like I'm in and then sometimes I'm just kind of stuck and I just go, fuck, lucky you. Yeah, I've heard you say that to Peggy. That it's true, man. Like most people got no idea of getting a taste of this. None. And we get a taste of it, and then kind of we kind of seem to swing in and out of it, and we complain. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's what I mean by when you catch that you've been in it, celebrate. Ah, don't don't overlay it with oh damn, because that's what keeps the pendulum going. If you could fill that recognition yeah, with love and warmth, because that's your nature. Yeah. Just fill it with that and ah oh, yeah. gotcha, yeah, cheeky. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, and yeah. And then just all right. And you're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Right. That's it.